everyone, we're going to write a function rule uh, relating x and y. So the first one we're going to do is 19. And we're going to uh, remember this is your input and y is your output. So what I notice is that um, these are cubes. And you really have to know your, your perfect cubes and perfect squares when you're doing these kind of problems. So to relate x, I'm going to write a function rule. I can use f of x, or you could uh, actually use y, equals, um, let's see, x cubed. And let's see if it works. Let's test it. So f of 1 would equal uh, 1 cubed which equals 1. Remember this is your y, which is what we have. f of 2 would equal 2 cubed, which equals 8. And so there's your 8. And then also 3 cubed equals 27, which would also be your y. Okay, let's try 20. So for 20, we have 1, 2, 3. So we have to use these numbers to get this. Now if I look at this, I keep adding 2. So since we do have a finite difference, the same number, that means it's linear. So I'm just going to write 2x and then plug in my number. So I'm going to plug in my x here. So I have y equals 2 times negative times 1, and that gives me 2, and I need a negative 5, so that would be minus 7. So I might want to do minus 7, and let's check that out. I have y equals, we're doing the second one, 2 times my x is 2 minus 7, that gives me 4 minus 7, which is negative 3, so that checks. And let's check again with that one. So we have y, I'm using this formula based off the first one I did, equals 2 times your x, which is 3, and then we're going to do minus 7. So that would give you 6 minus 7, which equals negative 1. So there's your rule for that. And for this one, uh, let's see what we have. On this one, we keep subtracting 1. So since that's your first finite difference, you're going to write y equals negative 1x, or we can just write negative x. Now to figure out uh, this part, let's just plug in the first one and see what we can do. So we have y equals negative, our x is 1, so that's just going to be negative 1. So at negative 1, what do you have to do to get to 4? You have to add 5 because negative 1 um, plus 5 is 4. So I'm going to try plus 5 as my formula on the other two. So we have uh, y equals negative x is 2 plus 5. That gives you 3. That checks. And let's try the last one. y equals, that would be, again, using this formula, negative 3 plus 5 equals 2. So that checks out. And the last one is this one. I notice if I rewrite this, um, I can rewrite this in fraction form, 1 over 1. This one would be 1 over 2. This would be 1 over 4. So since you notice that, you just say y equals 1 over x, because that's the reciprocal. So let's test it. And this one's kind of boring, so let's start there. So y equals 1, and your x is 2. So plug that in, you get 1 half, which is 0 0.5. And the same thing's going to happen with the last one. So it's going to be 0 0.25. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.